Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy Sandy Legend, and I'm here to give the review for Diamond No Ace. And this episode was actually really intense, and I mean, I love this series for just numerous amount of reasons. I haven't had you know much time to actually do reviews for this series, you know, just mainly because of time constraints, and you know, and just the timing of when the episodes drop. I don't. This isn't really a good time, but you know, now that I'm free because you know there's no school and whatnot, you know, I will be doing many, many, many more reviews for uh, Diamond No Ace. So, anywho, uh, this episode was really just a setup. The end on the worst possible cliffhanger possible i mean i, I mean I, it's just it's just simple as that at the end of the episode pretty much you have you know this man, this cr- crazy monstrous uh, you know the dh hitter uh Raichi, you know about to go toes with uh furia okay so furia you know you know furia and Raichi, both of them being you know both first year uh you know characters in the series and you know to see that 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 this Raichi, you know this Raichi was talking smack pretty much about both Solamara and furia i mean it was just so much tension in the air between these two even before the match started so the season finally go toes when this episode will be really exciting so also, you know, I just want to go more in depth in, in this Raichu character. In this Raichu character, this Raichu character, I really love his personality. If you look at it, he's pretty much just a straight, you know, cut and paste of Soamara, except just on different different sides. You know, Soamara, you know, him being a pitcher, and uh, Raichu being a batter. You know, you see that. You know, Raichu's been going through rigorous training. You know, pretty much his entire life, uh, essentially. You know, and not as Soamara, who's pr- just, just developed from his peaks. You know, just now. So also, I'm really, really looking forward. To to that fourth inning, you know, when Suamra has to go toes with Raichi as well. You know, and the fact that, that this guy's they give a little bit of a bit of a backstory of this Raichi character, you know, that apparently he was able to hit, you know, 160 kilometer per hour, you know, fastballs pretty much at a very tender age, you know, I think it was about 12 or 13, so that's also, you know, a pretty, you know, very uh, interesting bit there. Uh, also, another thing that I want to stress about this series is that I like the the uh, realisticness that it that it uh, maintains, you know, like many other sports animes, you know, the animation and stuff are kind of weird to the point where you think it's unrealistic. But this show always, you know, has a sense of realisticness while at the same time, you know, having the other elements, you know, of comedy and all that stuff and whatnot. So also, it's pretty good. Also, at, at the end of the episode, we also realized that Tom also could be playing, you know, in this episode. So that'll be hype. You're considering that his, you know, best friend lost in the last series against the same team. So overall, fantastic episode.